Hey guys, this is me Flavio and I'm back with another Clash Royale video and in this video I'm going to be showing you three of my replays against level 8 so I hope you get to learn something from it okay so this is the first replay my opponent actually has a graveyard deck I'm going to start off with a tombstone in the center as usual he's going to go with a princess I have to use my inferno dragon to counter the princess so the princess obviously is going to take out the tombstone, the elite barbs are going to take out my tombstone skeleton, so I'm going to have to use, uh, okay, so I don't actually need to use skeleton army because the inferno dragon is going to take out both of the elite barbs. Now I throw in the goblin barrel and the inferno dragon, he's going to rage his tower, which I don't think was a good idea, but now the inferno dragon is locked onto the tower and the inferno dragon manages to shut down that tower. So I've got a huge incoming bush with goblins and witch. I'm going to throw the infernal dragon over the witch to lock onto the witch. So the witch's skeletons is, are dealing some damage to the tower, but the infernal dragon there took out the witch and now is going to take out the princess. I'm going to drop my ice wizard on the left side now to do a left lane push. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go with a giant skeleton in the back to do a left lane push instead of the ice wizard. And now I'm going to throw in my skeleton army to counter the elite barbs. I'm not worried about the princess hitting the skeleton army because the princess was already locked onto the right tower. Now my giant skeleton is heading towards the left tower, but he counters the giant skeleton with his Valk. So I kind of ignore the Valk there and I place a backward ice wizard along with a tombstone in the center. Now the bomb is going to get rid of that Valk for me. And I guess here I'm going to go with an Inferno Dragon Goblin Barrel push on the left side. Okay, so he places his Witch, so now I'm going to have to use my Inferno Dragon to counter the Witch. And here I place my Inferno Dragon. Now he reveals his graveyard, so I place a Giant Skeleton for defense to take out the Witch as well. And the Skeletons kind of go and hit the Giant Skeleton, so my tower does not take a lot of damage. And I also drop the Skeleton Army to counter the Giant, uh, to counter the graveyard. Now I'm going to place another Tombstone in the center here for some more defense. He's going to place Elite Barbs in the back, which was a pretty bad move. I'm going to go with a giant skeleton behind the elite barb so that it gets rid of the of both the princesses. And now I'm going to throw in an ice wizard to slow down the elite barb. And now I just have to sit here and defend both of my towers so that I can easily win this game. So I don't like the idea of raging his towers. I mean every time I throw in a goblin barrel he just rages his towers. I don't think that's a good way to defend against the goblin barrel. So now he's got an incoming, I mean, he's got a princess, witch, and a lead barbs incoming. I just throw a giant skeleton to stop all of them, and the game ends right there, and I win this game. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the next game, which is this one. Okay, so here we are against another level 8, and he's going to be using a spawner deck. He's got a spear goblin hut and a barbarian hut, but he doesn't play it quite well because of which he loses the game. So I'm obviously going to start off with the tombstone in the center, and I'm going to go with an ice wizard in the back. He fireballs only the tombstone without actually fireballing the tower, which was terrible there. Now I'm going to go with my giant skeleton at the bridge to do a push. So now he's going to place his spear goblin hut. And that was a bad placement of the spear goblin hut again because the giant bomb is just going to take out the spear goblin hut. I throw in the goblin barrel so that the goblins get a few hits on the tower because the tower is locked on to the giant skeleton. Now I'm going to have to use my skeleton army to counter these barbarians. So I managed to shut down his push and I got a lot of damage on his tower. Now I'm going to place another defensive tombstone. And once the witch crosses the bridge, I'll probably counter with the elite, uh, with the, yeah, I'm going to counter with the ice wizard since I have the ice wizard. And now he's dropped in elite barb, so I have to use my giant skeleton to defend against the ice wizard. Unfortunately, here he raids the elite barbs, so the elite barbs managed to take out the giant skeleton pretty quickly. And now this witch is going to get a lot of damage on my tower. 
So I, I'm forced to zap here so that the skeletons don't actually get any hits on the tower, otherwise they would have uh, taken out my tower. So now I guess I'm just gonna play... D okay, so he places a barbarian hut in the center, which was pretty bad because it's pretty much close to the river, so I can easily take it out with the Inferno Dragon, so that's what I do. I counter the Barbarians with Skeleton Army, and I throw in the Inferno Dragon so that it takes out the hut. Now the Inferno Dragon is locked onto the Barbarian hut. He uses Minion Horde to counter the Inferno Dragon, but I've already taken out the, uh, the Barbarian hut, so I just fireball these four minions here. And, I, uh, yeah, I'm going to use the Giant Skeleton to counter the Barbarians in the back, so that the bomb takes them out. Now he's got elite barbs on the left side, I'm going to use my tombstone to pull them and then I'm going to use my ice wizard to slow them down. I also use skeleton armies for some more safety just in case, you know, just in case he used some, uh, maybe if the elite barbs would have taken out the uh, tombstone skeletons and if they would have moved on to the left tower that would have been a problem for me so I used my skeleton army for some more defense. Now he's placing a goblin heart near the near, near the inferno dragon which was obviously a bad move so now the giant giant bomb is going to get rid of these barbarians my inferno dragon is going to lock onto the barbarian hut so my inferno dragon just took out the barbarian hut as well as the spear goblin hut now it's going to get rid of these elite barbarians as well for me now i've got two inferno dragons on the arena and i throw in the goblin hut so that the tower get some more damage and now he's throwing a barbarian hut at the bridge which was again a bad move so now he has to deal with two uh, inferno dragons so he uses his minion horde to take them out he's got an incoming giant skeleton to deal with he uses a spear goblin hut to counter which i wouldn't say was bad but it wasn't good either I'm gonna go with an ice wizard near the tower and now i'm gonna go with an inferno dragon goblin barrel push to finish him off so he tries to rush me, I guess, with elite barbs. No, okay, so the Inferno Dragon is going to lock on and the Goblin Barrel is just going to take out the tower. So that's going to be game right here. So this was the second game and let me show you the third one as well. So this is another game against a level 8 and I don't have a good starting hand here and okay so he throws in the goblin barrel I have to use skeleton army to counter so he plays the goblin barrel in front of the tower and I place my skeleton army behind the tower so that's the reason why the goblins got a lot of hits on the tower. Now he's using the valk to counter my skeleton army I throw in the inferno dragon to, to, to take out the valk. Now I'm going to place my giant skeleton behind the elite barbs and this was a mistake here. I should have placed the giant skeleton in front of the elite barbs so that the bomb actually hit the elite barbs. But anyways you will see the cost of that mistake. Now my tower is going to go down because of that one mistake. So there you go the elite barbs take out my tower and now he's going to use archers to counter my inferno dragon which was pretty good because now my inferno dragon is going to go down he drops a mega minion and that mega minion is going to take out the tombstone so i just wait for my elixir to build up here and i place a ice wizard near the king's tower to defend and now he throws in the goblin barrel on the king's tower so i have to use my skeleton army to counter the goblin barrel so i managed to shut down his push and now i'm gonna go okay i'm gonna have to use my inferno dragon to counter this valk on the left side and then I'm gonna translate that into an Inferno Dragon Goblin Barrel push on the left so I zap the tower here so that it retargets onto the goblins he zapped my Inferno Dragon to reset its charge but unfortunately for him the Inferno Dragon managed to take out the tower even though he zapped so now he's rushing me with the lead barbs on the right side. I'm gonna have to use skeleton army to deal with these elite barbs. And so the archers are gonna get taken out by the ice wizard. I'm gonna fireball the goblin barrel there. And now I'm just gonna wait to build up some more elixir. So he's got a Valk on the left, so I'm gonna have to use my Inferno Dragon to counter that Valk. And I'll probably place a tombstone in the center here just for some more defense 
So that Mega Minion is gonna get taken out by the Inferno Dragon. That's not a problem for me. I drop a giant skeleton near the tower just to take out those archers. And now he comes in with a Goblin Barrel. I use Skeleton Army to counter the Goblin Barrel. The Goblin Barrel gets a few hits, but not a lot. Now he uses Skeleton Army to counter Giant Skeleton. I was a little late on the zap there. And he's gonna rush me with the lead bars on the left lane. And fortunately for me, those skeletons actually pulled the elite bars, and that's the reason why my tower did not get any hits. Now I'm gonna have to fire up all the goblin barrel to take out these goblin barrels. Unfortunately, uh, these goblins. Unfortunately, I miss one goblin because of which that goblin got a few hits. And now he's just gonna fireball my tower. My tower is just left with 252 health. The inferno dragon is locked onto the right tower, but. Unfortunately, that Inferno Dragon gets taken out. Now he's gonna rush me with Elite Barbs, and I use Tombstone here to counter the Elite Barbs. I should have used Skeleton Army. Skeleton Army would have obviously been a better choice, but I don't know why I used Tombstone. And now my Inferno Dragon is locked onto his right tower, so obviously his Elite Barbs are not gonna make it in time, and that's gonna be game for him right there. So maybe he shouldn't have rushed me with the lead bar, he should have tried to defend against that Inferno Dragon Goblin Barrel push on the right side. But anyways, I managed to win this game. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys for this video. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.